12 animals with the weirdest teeth. Before we get started, let's take a quick look at one of our viewers' comments. Pigeon Nation had this to say, Why don't you have at least half a million subscribers? Aw. Thanks for commenting, Pigeon Nation, and don't forget to subscribe. Now, back to our video. Number 12. The Goosander Duck As far as ducks go, you're going to want to avoid feeding this specific species altogether. The Goosander Duck is known as a sawbill, and that's because of the razor-sharp teeth that line its beak from top to bottom. It's estimated that it's outfitted with roughly more than 150 teeth that curve backward that are perfect for tearing into the bodies of fish. These ducks are found throughout Canada, Eurasia, and even here in the United States. Number 11, the Paku fish. Piranhas are a well-known fish of the Amazon River that strip the flesh off its prey, but there is a less famous fish that should be known for its set of teeth. The Paku here looks like it has the same distinguished looking teeth as us humans, shape, size, color. It looks like this fish could be wearing dentures. They were introduced to the region of Papua New Guinea way back in the 1990s. The fish use their teeth to eat their favorite foods like nuts and seeds. They have a reputation for chomping on men's and other regions as well. Ouch. Number 10, the dragonfish. This creepy prehistoric looking fish is known as the dragonfish and it comes equipped with some sharp teeth that can give a nasty bite. As if that wasn't frightening enough, these monsters also have teeth that grow on their tongue. Not to worry though, because these fish only grow to be around half a foot and they live so deep in the ocean's waters that they're nowhere near humans. Plus, these guys are almost completely blind because they live in absolute darkness. They were only recently discovered in an expedition that took a decade and the findings were published back in 2010 with other newly discovered creatures. Number nine, the payata. Just like the paku, this river dweller also hails from the Amazon River except its teeth are much sharper than the already mentioned Paku. The payata is capable of producing fangs that can grow to be around three to four inches long. It uses its massive teeth to penetrate into the flesh of its prey and striking its vital organs. The payata surprisingly keeps its fangs inside of its mouth where the teeth slide into two holes in its upper jaw, which is uncommon for other saber-toothed creatures. Payatas can grow to be more than four feet long. Number eight, the narwhal. For centuries, narwhals have been labeled as the unicorns of the sea, thanks to their magnificent horns. However, these aren't horns. The long protruding horn is really the tooth of the whale. More specifically, it's the left canine. As the whale grows, so does the tooth, and it eventually pierces the animal's lip. The tooth is known as the largest canine in the entire animal kingdom, as it grows to be around eight and a half feet or 2.6 meters and weighs around 22 pounds. It's usually only found in males, but it does occur in some females. Some narwhals even have two tusks. Number seven, the babirusa. Just like the narwhal that we just discussed, this creature's tusks are actually its teeth that have managed to grow in the opposite direction and pierce the roof of their mouth. More specifically, it's the upper canines that do the piercing, while the lower ones grow sideways out of their mouths. The males use this bizarre evolutionary trait to their advantage when they fight other males during mating season and slash into each other's flesh. The unfortunate part is that the babirusa has to file down its teeth, otherwise they'll end up growing right into its skull and proving to be fatal. Number six, the frilled shark. Thank God this living nightmare lives in some pretty deep waters because you wouldn't want to end up swimming near one of these things. Case in point, look at its needle-like teeth. It's got rows upon rows of teeth that are in their own rows. This makes it harder for their prey to try and escape as they get trapped and have their flesh torn. These sharks mostly feed on different species of cephalopods, such as squids, and they use their extremely flexible jaws that are long enough to swallow prey that's larger than them whole truly scary. Number five, the lamprey. Out of the 38 species of lamprey that are known to exist, which seems like too many of these scary aliens, only 18 of them are known for being parasitic. These fish use the many rows of teeth that fill its mouth to cling onto their desired prey of choice and chomp onto a piece of tasty flesh from an unsuspecting source. Once the animal is latched on tightly, then they begin to use their tongue in order to lap up the nutrient-rich blood from its victim. Yeah, these things are basically underwater vampires. Avoid them at all costs. Number four, the hagfish. This animal is a type of marine fish that resembles more of a fish and is known for producing an insane amount of slime that it uses to suffocate the hungry predators that try to go after it. It's perhaps less known for its smile that comes with two pairs of sharp teeth on each side. The hagfish is one of those animals such as the previously mentioned lamprey that is completely jawless. These animals don't even need their teeth as they're able to get the nutrients they require through their skin. 
but they also feed on dying prey by eating them from the inside. Number three, the penguin. Thanks to films such as Happy Feet and March of the Penguins, the general public sees penguins as cute balls of fluff that live in the cold Arctic region. It turns out that the inside of a penguin's mouth is very much the exact opposite of cute fluff ballness. Their mouths are entirely lined up with razor sharp teeth that are essential in helping a penguin feed. Since penguins eat their food alive and whole, their sharp teeth helps keep down squirming fish and keeps things moving smoothly. And yes, the following image that you see is real. Number two, the leatherback sea turtle. Sea turtles have quite the reputation for being such adorable and majestic creatures of the ocean. But that's because most people haven't had the chance to look at their insides. The most frightening of these turtles happens to be the leatherback sea turtle. The inside of their mouths looks like a small forest of spines as pictured below in the following image. These aren't technically teeth, as they're rather called papillae, but they act just like teeth. The cartilaginous spikes help keep jellyfish moving down the turtle's throat as they're being swallowed and protects them from the jellyfish's sting. Before we reveal number one, let us know in the comments below which one of these animals you thought had the weirdest set of teeth, and don't forget to subscribe. And now, number one, the crab eater seal. As far as teeth go in the animal kingdom, there's an exact reason on why we chose this animal as the number one spot. Just look at that unique pattern of teeth. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. So why do these seals have such odd looking chompers? Well, despite their name being crab eater seals, their diet is actually made up of 90% Antarctic krill. They don't actually feast on crabs because they live in such deep waters. The weird pattern of their teeth helps filter out the excess water when they take a bite and only the tasty krill is left. <laughs>